One of the most famous goals in Michigan hockey history, if not NCAA hockey history, was Mike Legg's lacrosse style goal in the 1996 National Tournament. It's not often that you'll see the Michigan hockey team practicing these moves. Most of the practice is spent on higher percentage plays, but on occasion, after practice, players indulge in moves that might land them on a highlight reel someday. Do the legs. Um, just like back through your legs. I used to do that in juniors, but uh, coach doesn't really let me do it here, so anytime I get at the end of practice, I'll do that. What would coach say if you were to try these sorts of moves that you're about um, to show us in a game? Well, I, I have tried it, and uh, most of the time I fail, so he gets mad at me. He actually called a meeting with me just to tell me I couldn't do this one move. So, so I don't want to get you in trouble, but <laughs> the guys like it a lot more than the coaches do. Yeah, we preach uh, making high percentage plays. Um, to our game and our, our players. So uh, that in my book probably would not be a high percentage play that we would encourage. Uh, you AJ know. said 5% conversion rate on his favorite move, so that wouldn't be high, high percentage yeah, enough for you. He can still work on it in practice, and we need, we need more <laughs> than that. We need high percentages, and 5 is not high for me. Who would you say has the best hands on the team? Uh, probably Phil DiGiuseppe. Um, he's probably got the best hands. I'm not sure if he gets the most done with them uh, sometimes. Uh, he's got a little overactive hands, but uh, yeah, you know, he likes to, uh, what you call it, brushing it off. He likes to stick handle a lot, but uh, yeah, there's definitely some times he should probably just shoot it, but uh, when you got hands like that, uh, he probably wants to use them. I like the backhand toe drag, <laughs> which is just, that's the only thing I basically do. These moves are not necessary in the game all the time, but I mean, it's, it's not bad to practice them, and sometimes they do come in handy. But that's fortunate, I played with Mike Legg, and everyone knows the story about Mike Legg and his. Uh, lacrosse style goal in the NCAAs and uh, he used to do that regularly in practice. So in a game could someone do it if we had, they had some time and space? Yeah, there's many, there's lots of guys on our team that could do something like that. Um, but then to have the courage to do something <laughs> like that and hopes of pulling it off uh, is probably a whole other ball game.